All right, folks, John Rush here, my son Richard Rush behind the camera. Today we're doing the review of the 2017 Toyota Camry, and this is the uh, XSE version of the Camry. Camry comes in basically five versions, the LE, the XLE, the SE, the XSE, which is this car here, and, of course, the hybrid version. This blue color, of course, is a color that they introduced last year on a special edition, and it's now a standard color for 2017. And this won't be a super long review. Why? Because we've done Camry in the past, done several reviews in the past, and it's changing for 2018. So this coming summer, this car is getting phased out, and the 2018 is what you'll have uh, in the future, or the 2018 version is what you'll have in the future. So let's take a walk around real quick. Look at the front end, the side view of the Toyota Camry. Um, not a lot to talk about. It's a Toyota Camry, which... Uh, for those of you that may not know this, Toyota Camry is in its 35th year, 7th design, number one leading midsize sedan in its class period. And I think I've said this before, if Camry were a car company, it would be in the top 10 for the amount of units that it's ever made. So, uh, literally, Camry has been selling in, uh, you know, in the United States and around the world uh, very, very well for a number of years. And why? Well... Partially because of its size, partially because of its reliability, the Toyota name brand. It's a very uh, reliable car, and it's a car that just does a lot of things extremely well. Um, and in this particular car, uh, one thing I will say for it, and I think Richard can attest to this, while it is a Toyota Camry, the 3.5 liter engine in this runs extremely well. I don't want to say this car is a hot rod or a performance car, but what I will say is, this car will run with some of the performance cars out there as far as it's, you know, just a start to, to 60 mile an hour time. The car works phenomenally well. While we're here in the back, let's just do this. We'll pop the trunk. And you can look in the back here and see that it's got a nice size trunk. Again, very versatile car. Nice depth to the trunk. Both of the seats, you can see the pull down levels, levers here where the seats will actually fold down where you can get more storage capacity in the back. And again, just a nice spacious trunk. And uh, again, it's Toyota Camry. They've done a great job on the car. And I think lighting wise, look, Richard, let me hop over here on this side. I'll just hop into the back seat. This seat is back for me, five foot 10. I'm gonna climb in the back, move the snow brush out. And again, very comfort or very comfortable rear seat. And even with the headliner dropping down slightly here for the sunroof on this particular car, I've got plenty of room. And the only thing I would say on this car that I've noticed, if you're a real tall passenger, you'll notice that this angle back here might get in the way getting in and out. Just something to note, a couple of cup holders here, soft touch material throughout. One thing I didn't mention is this particular car, 35,903, so basically $36,000, but this is their top of the line XSE version of Camry. I think the only thing that comes uh, higher price than this, Richard, would be the hybrid. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah, just the hybrid is the only thing above this. But again, nice spacious seat in the back. Does have a center console that folds down here, or a armrest, I should say, that folds down with a couple of small water bottle holders. A couple of vents back here. No power ports, no heated seats. Um, and frankly, I think that's par probably where I would have a little bit of a complaint. I don't know what 2018 is going to bring for this particular car. But there are other cars out there for less money that give you more amenities in the back seat than this car does. So just something to note. Um, and again, we always suggest you just get out and get in these cars and drive them. So I tell you what, that's, that's what we're going to do. I'll hop into the front seat, show you a few things, and we'll go take a drive in the 2018 Toyota Camry. All right, folks, I'm now in the front seat 2017. I made a correction a moment ago. Or I made a mistake a moment ago. I said 2018. Sorry. This is the 2017 version Toyota Camry uh, XSE. And as you'll see, uh, it has, uh, you know, soft touch materials throughout. Uh, kind of got this uh, old, I guess you can almost go back in time a little bit with the velour type. Uh, suede, I guess you could say, interior, which, by the way, is very, very comfortable. Suede on the sides. Again, very comfortable car to drive. I will say that. You know, it's a staple car in the industry. They've done a fantastic job. This car does have heated seats in the front. They are not ventilated, so heated only. Uh, a couple of new things for 2017. Not a lot. The only thing they've really added is some some changes, enhancements to the Intune system, the QI charging, which is now uh, available on the XLE and the XSE. And other than that, frankly, not a lot of changes from 2016 other than some colors and some things along those lines. 
Pretty standard throughout the interior. I'll get into this in just a minute as we get to the driving portion of it. Steering wheel, pretty standard. This particular vehicle, let me give you the options on it and the miles per gallon, I should say, it's rated at 21 and 30. And as I get into the driving portion, I'll tell you where we've been on the car. So this car has blind spot monitoring for 500 bucks with the rear cross traffic alert, the premium Intune system for 710, the advanced tech package, which gives you pre-collision warning, lane departure, dynamic radar cruise control, and automatic high beams is 750. There is a emergency assist kit, which you saw in the trunk, which was $59. It's got a clear bra for 30 or $395. A hideaway cargo net, which we showed you in the trunk, another $49. A, a door sill enhancements, which Richard can show you right now down along the doors. That is a $200 uh, option, and it's got the four-season trunk mats and floor mats, which Richard is also showing you for about a $373. And then it's also got some bumper appliques and some things like that. Again, bringing this car, remote engine start, I should say, $500. Bucks, brings the car all the way up to the $35,903, so just shy of $36 thousand dollars so i tell you without further ado we'll just put richard in the back seat we'll go take a drive real quick in the 2017 toyota camry and this is the xse version top of the line basically toyota camry for 2017 all right folks take a drive now 2017 toyota camry and just again looking throughout the the center stack here dual climate control um all of the same in tune things that we've talked about in toyota for you know Basically, a lot of the reviews we've had. Very easy to navigate. Love the fact it's got the tune knob. Everything you need is here. Steering wheel, of course, all the different controls are here. Windshield wipers, paddle shifters, uh, some things that it's got on it on this particular model. Your adaptive cruise buttons are here. Lane departure warning, all of that is over here on the left-hand side. And again, this is just a Camry. Center console, plenty of room there. Uh, got the ability down here to put your cell phone and that down in the in the storage compartment here with the with the Q charging mat. Uh, it, it, again, not nice car. It, it, the car works fine. Um, you know, again, what is there not to like about Toyota Camry? They've sold a gazillion of these cars. The question is, uh, do you want to go out and buy one of the other vehicles that's in its same class that gives you a few more features for less money? That's something you'll have to determine on your own. As I go into reverse. Again, it does have the, the camera system, not dynamic grid lines. Some of the other cars in this class uh, that it competes with do have. If that's a big deal, it's something you'll have to consider. Overall drivability of the car, it's a Camry. It's fairly quiet, although I will tell you there are cars in its class that have a more quieter cabin on the inside than this car does. Will that change for 2018? I don't know. We'll have to wait and drive a 2018 and see. What I will tell you is this car does have good pickup. The 3.5 liter engine does great. And we have averaged 27 and a half miles to the gallon in this car. So not bad fuel economy for a nice 3.5 liter engine with plenty of oomph. And I will say that this car runs fantastic. Uh, you pull out into traffic, no problem. You can go with anywhere you want to go with this car. Literally, it's, it's zero to 60 time is fantastic and it runs fabulous. Now, cons again. I think it's a little bit noisy on the interior. It's a little bit plain on the interior. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice, they've done a good job, but there's nothing really fancy in this car for $35,000. I'd love to have it have ventilated seats. I'd love to have it have some of the, the, the features that are in this car, I think should be standard in some of the cars below it, some of the trim levels below it. Adaptive cruise, blind spot monitoring and the like. Some of those things should come on the car not having to spend $35,000. That's my opinion. Why is that my opinion? Because you can go buy some of the cars in this class for less money that have some of those things standard. So Toyota, if you're listening, just something to throw out. Outside of that, is this a car that you could buy, drive, and have for 300,000 plus miles? Absolutely, it's a Toyota Camry. Again, they have sold a gazillion of these cars and they will continue to do so. Fabulous car, works well. Are there some things I wish they would improve? Absolutely. Will they? You know what? We'll find out when the, 28, when the 2018 version comes out and we get the ability to get behind the wheel. We'll let you know at that time. In the meantime, if you're interested in a Toyota Camry, especially this 2017 model year, I would encourage you to go out, test drive one at your local Toyota dealer. And when you do, please tell them you heard them from John and Richard Rush.